and welcome or welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be doing a story time on the time my house burnt down now i already tried making this video twice it didn't work out both times so this happened march 8 2008 i was four at the time i was going to be five that august i was pretty young but i still could comprehend what was going on obviously basically this day it had snowed and it was really rare to see snow where we live because i live in texas and Snow isn't common in the part of Texas that we live, and I'm pretty sure it's not common like in other parts of Texas. At the time my cousin was staying with us because her mom was visiting some family in Mexico, so she just was staying at our house for like a month. We were playing in the snow. I will insert some pictures here on the screen so you guys can see. And we had no clue that this was going to be the last time that we saw our house whole, like without being burned. So, this is what caused the fire. My mom had been cooking some stuff on the stove and the lights went out because of all the snow and everything. So, we had like an electric stove that you could like plug in and when the lights went out, the stove was on. So, the lights went out so it looked like the stove was off, but it was actually technically on if the lights would to come back on it would turn on and my dad was like let's go to the grocery store to get some food we went to walmart in our minivan and while we were over there we started getting calls we got a call from my uncle but he always pranks like people so we didn't believe him we were like our house is not burning down, whatever. Then one of our neighbors called us that lives up the street and he said, your house is burning down. Like, where are you at, you know? So we started like processing it that it was actually burning down. So we drove so fast back to our house because the Walmart we were at is like 30 minutes away from here. We were like passing everyone on the highway and until we got here, we got here, there was nothing of the house, like everything was black. It was all burned down. Like the whole house was black and the roofs were all messed up. And at the time my dad was adding two extra rooms to the house because we only had two rooms and me, my brother and my sister had to share one so that wasn't fun so we were each gonna get our own room and this is actually one of the rooms that my dad was building this was gonna be my room and it finally got fixed like two months ago I moved into this room about two months ago because we just procrastinated on fixing it till this year so yeah and the two rooms didn't burn down completely they just got smoked and the roof like got since the firefighters were putting so much water on the house to stop the fire the water got in the roof of these rooms and like sunk it like that like all the water weight and stuff um but my dad fixed these rooms this year but that's not the point of the story back to when we got to the house we saw firefighters everywhere with like their water hoses and or water hose. I don't know like what you would call them. But yeah, and we saw like tons of people standing at the front of the yard watching our house burn down. Didn't even know half of these people. All the neighbors were watching and it was just crazy like and it was so cold too. I remember that. We got to the house, one of the saddest days of my life. We walked into the house, it was so slippery. Like the floor was so slippery, you could barely walk. And I had this doll, her name was Baby Shushu. I will like insert a picture of her. And I had had this doll since I was a baby and I was debating on taking her or not. So I just left her sitting like on the front of the couch on this chair that we had. In the living room and the first thing i saw was her all smoked up she looked like chucky and i was just like <laughs> i started bawling myself next we walked into the kitchen 
we saw a fish that we had, a pet fish. It was in front of the microwave and beside the stove, so it blew up into a chicharron. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but like Mexican people or Hispanics, you probably know what that is. Um, it was basically fried. And the reason it was there was because I'm pretty sure we were changing its water before we left or feeding it or something. So later on we had we had to stay the night at my grandma's house that day and we had to go like to the dollar store because we live in a small town. There's like two thousand people where I live and there's like no Walmart or grocery store at this time but now they're still grocery store but they like don't sell any clothes or anything so we went to the dollar store to get some underwear and socks and like something to sleep in and we were we stayed at my grandma's house for some nights we stayed at my cousin's house some nights and some other friend's house till we eventually found a house to buy and about probably two months or less than two months after we got the house there was a, like a hurricane we live like by the woods and a tree fell on my mom's room which was the master bedroom it fell on her it destroyed her room and her bathroom and it almost hit her closet yeah so imagine just a tree falling on the house you just bought right after it burned down and eventually we fixed everything and we settled back into our normal lives so yeah and i just want to say thank you to all the people who donated stuff that's the time of when my house burned down it was super hard to go through that and we lost like some pictures we did save but they still have like black like smoke and they still smell burnt like our picture box we have a big box of filled with pictures and they smell like smoke because the house burned down and they're still we live in the same spot that the house burned down i don't know why we didn't move places but there's still um window broken windows like with the in the yard like dug into them but if i could save one thing from my house burning it would probably be all the pictures that burned down we still have a lot of them but like half of them did burn we couldn't save them or anything because they were all black and you couldn't see anything we guys enjoyed this video oh and i also want to give a big shout out to the person we still don't know who it is but somebody we had like four dogs and somebody came in their van and put the dogs in their car and took them and then brought them back once we had moved in so that means that they were taking care of the dogs till we got a house so they took the dogs so they wouldn't like get burned or intoxicated from the smoke that was really sweet of them period hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time